What is up guys, JJ Android from Droid Syndicate bringing you a video to show you guys the reloaded ICS tweak for all CyanogenMod9 builds. As you can see, it is right up there. And th this is actually pretty cool. It gives it a bunch of different colors and settings that you can do. Lots of different tweaks. Um, overall, this is just a really nice enhancement for CyanogenMod9. So if you're interested, this will be in the download, uh, the download link will be in the description, sorry. Sort of stumbling over my words, but yeah, this is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is that in your lock screen, it shows the navigational bar color right down there. So, you should be able to change that, but yeah. You can see here I have beautiful widgets with that nice ice cream sandwichy theme, and it really does fit well with these accents and colors. So, it looks like, um, if you go down to your notification bar, you're gonna have these, uh, Looks like a brightness setting, a brightness toggle, and a, this looks like a sound setting. So yeah, this is a sound setting. And also, if you can see right there, let's see if I have my face so that you can see it better without the reflection. It, it actually does sort of look like it's almost outlined, I guess. The little 3G bars are outlined, so that's a pretty nice feature that the dev put in there. And yeah, everything else looks the same, notification bar wise. So let's go ahead and press settings right up here. And that's basically going to let us edit the uh, the reloaded settings. So I don't know what my camera is doing right now. It's being all weird. Let me, uh, should let this focus. Don't know what's happening here. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I don't know what just happened. It just started going all blurry. And so yeah. Uh, looks like we have our settings here. You can go into status bar. You can. Looks like you can move to bottom. So you can move your status bar to the bottom. That is pretty sweet. So you can actually just drag upwards instead of downwards. And so, so I guess I don't know. That's sort of weird. <laughs> I don't really like that. I'm not really used to that. You can move the clock position. So let's say it's stuck at the right. So if you want it to be center, you can see that's right up there. Um, I actually really do like that, so I'm going to keep it like that. Battery icon set. Uh, oh, this is very cool. So percentage, you can have a percentage like Sanajima 9. Uh, you can just have it stock. You can have it be a circle. Honeycomb. That's pretty sweet. Percentage big, so a big percentage like that. Or you can just have it default and you can also hide it. So I actually sort of like the honeycomb style. That gives it like a nice little double ring around. Sorry, my camera isn't very good. And you can also edit transparency. So let's say you want 25% transparency. It's probably not going to show right now. But once you go in there, it's going to be a little transparent. So that is <laughs> just awesome. That's really sweet. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to keep it at 25%. I think that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and go back into our settings, and let's go back. Notification drawer, layout type, reversed. Oh, you can see that it's reversed now, so that is pretty sweet. I'm going to keep that too. That is just awesome. Uh, layout type, I just went over that. Use alternate notification style. So this will take effect on all your new notifications. So I have no idea what that means. But go ahead and try that out and see what it means. Date position, date format, custom carrier label. Reloaded ICS is the stock option. So let's go ahead and enter in JG and root. I accidentally put an H. And now when we go into that, it should say, it does not say JG and root right there, but on a lock screen, no, it does not do that. That's weird, so little bug there I guess because usually it should show up in the notification bar but it's not widget display order audio widget so you can have lots of different widgets so let's say that's our power widget so yeah there's lots of different widgets you can put in the notification bar navigation so this is how you change the colors so let's say you want the foreground to be sort of uh, let's make it gray. It's actually, uh, yeah, let's make it, how do I select that? 
I want to select it. Oh, okay, so you actually touch the color. And then the background would be, let's make it red. So that's pretty cool. We can edit the color there. Sorry, you can't really see it there. There you go. Now I can see it. That's actually red. My camera's making it just show up plain on blurry. But yeah, that's that's really cool. You can make it red. And I'm actually going to make that the ICS color and make this sort of an orangey color. That's actually too bright for my comfort. So I'm just going to keep this gray for now. And that looks pretty sweet. So it looks like you can have a recents panel. So let's say you want it to be horizontal. It's going to go ahead and load that up. Might have to relock it. No? Oh, here we go. Oh, so this is sweet. So looks like you can just drag up with your notifications. So let's say I want to go into camera, exit out, Gmail, exit out. When I go into my notifications, my things will not be there, and I can scroll from side to side, and I can just flip them up from there. So that is a nice feature that they added in, too. Let's go ahead and go back into the settings. Themes, you can have themes, of course. So that is pretty cool because you can have themes on Cyanogenbond 9. And yeah, that's really all I have to show you guys today. That is Reloaded ICS. Works on every Cyanogenbond 9 based ROM. And so yeah, this is pretty sweet. I definitely recommend getting this if you like bright colors. If you just want to edit some more stuff in your notification bar. Sort of like what it let you do in Cyanogenbond 9. Uh, Cyanogenbond 6. Cyanogenbond 6 let you edit your notification bar. So Reloaded ICS gives it a lot more tweaks if the developer already didn't add them in there. So yeah, it looks like on the op screen that the guy posted, you can see that you do have toggles in your notification drawer that you can do too. So that is pretty sweet. I'm really looking forward to